Taiwan has seen many cases involving the killing and abuse of children in recent years. Kuomintang and People First Party lawmakers have therefore proposed to make the murderer of children under the age of 12 punishable by the death penalty or life sentence with no possibility of parole. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Justice has a different opinion. People have gathered outside the Supreme Court in support of Wang Weijun. In 2011, Wang's three-year-old nephew Wang Hao died after sustaining serious physical abuse. The four perpetrators are given nine to 30 years. Wang Weijun was not happy with this verdict and filed for a retrial on November 1st. There have been many cases involving the killing and abuse of children in recent years. Kuomintang and People First Party legislators have therefore proposed amending the criminal code to add an article to make the murder of children under the age of 12 punishable by the death penalty or life imprisonment with no possibility of parole. The Ministry of Justice has spoken out against this proposal, claiming current laws already include heavier sentences for crimes against youth and children. It adds it does not support further restrictions on the right of judges to decide on punishments. Meanwhile, Democratic Progressive Party legislators say cases are complicated and warned against overly restricting criminal responsibility. Due to these differing opinions, the legislature is currently at an impasse. The proposal has yet to reach consensus due to the complexity of its nature and the divergent views even within the ruling Democratic Progressive Party.